Yo, what is up, guys? We are back here for the third installment of Legends of Mandalore. Today, we're going to be heading to the third covert outside of Markarth. So, let's begin. And as you probably could have guessed, uh, on the way there, we're going to be checking out all those weapons we got from the second covert. So, let's dive in. Having so much fun doing this uh, mod series. I'm always playing this game, so uh, it's cool to just be talking while I do it. And I appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate you guys leaving comments. And let's head right on out. So right now on the back we've got the Mandalorian Battle Axe, two-handed weapon. And hopefully we're on the way there and we get to use this boy. We've got a bunch of other cool weapons that we're going to be using on the way there. I'm really excited to show you guys. And if you're uh, checking out the mod as well, leave a comment below telling me, uh, you know, what your favorite weapons are. What your setup's like. After this one, guys, we've got another video going to that fourth covert, and then I'm going to do a, the fifth one is going to be a final review, as well as I'm going to go over all of the crafting. So we've just passed the Orca Stronghold, we're heading south, and as you can see, uh, covert is going to be somewhere up over here. I'm pretty sure there'll be some bandits on the other side over here so that. Thanks for having my back. I think I went the wrong way. Let's uh, go right around here. Okay, yeah. It's definitely a little bit more this way. This one should be a, a pretty quick video, guys. Probably gonna be a lot of uh, speeding it up because uh, there wasn't much combat, so or maybe at the end here we'll uh, go out and see what we can do. Um, okay, no. Need to go up more. Should be right up this hill somewhere. Oh yes, bam. And you can see the Mythosaur skull up there. We have found the covert. So, for reference, hold on, real quick, we might as well do it. Just because I can see him. Oh, wait, that might be a dog. Oh, well, let's see what happens. Oh. Nope, it was a wolf. Heck yeah. I do really like the uh, crossbow with the exploding uh, bolts. Oh my goodness, that clip through the ground there was pretty intense. So, what I love about these coverts especially is that the, they all have these absolutely astounding views. Looking out into the distance over the land of Skyrim. It's beautiful. Well, now that we're here, what do you say we head on inside and uh, check out that armor? Check out those weapons? And most importantly, pick up that unique one, guys. Okay, so here we are, and right away, looks like we've got a car full of iron ore right here. Let's go ahead and take a peek inside, and yes, uh, this is exciting. So we've got an ancient Mandalorian here, and uh, he's just got some kind of normal stuff. You know what? I don't think that we have played this boy out yet. It's probably going to be another two-handed weapon, but we'll go ahead and pick it up. And what do we have here? That's right the shadow Mandalorian armor. 
um, to look like the, you know, the Darth Maul loyal Mandalorians from the Clone Wars. So, um, right off the bat, we're going to take that armor so that we can show it off outside all proper. Oh my goodness. That really scared me. Oh, the Maul. Ooh, that gave me a spooking. I did not see this boy. What does he have on him? He's got a Mandalorian greatsword. And a daedra. Well, we're gonna take his heart. Dang. The Maul. That, that gave me a spooking, guys, not gonna lie. So we got some Nordic Mandalorian armor. I'm gonna take that. <coughs> take both, maybe for a follower. Oh, we're over encumbered. So maybe we'll actually end up dropping that. And right here, it looks like we have Gar Saxon. That is super cool. I have not seen this one yet. I have played through this mod once just to kind of get a feel for what was going on. Mandalorian call like a vibroblade. Super awesome. Uh, we've got a war club. So I'll tell you what, I'm just going to take all this stuff and we will figure out a solution for this over encumbered in a second. Real quick, let's check it out in here. And looks like we just have some stuff for forging. Got some ingots inside the chest. I'm sure we're gonna have. Oh, we got some Mandalorian plate armor. Go ahead and take that. Um, so I believe this is a one-handed weapon. We're gonna go ahead and take that, just in case. Okay, and it looks like he just has a bunch of ancient Mandalorian gear, which uh, we are actually all good on. So well, let's just walk at a snail's pace over to these last two chests and we'll see what they have for us. They got some bolts, love using those. Uh, some plate armor, some van braces, we have this, we have this, we've got all this stuff. So, let's uh, check this chest. And we've got uh, another Mandalorian helmet of sorts. Oh, did not mean to do that, but hey, I guess uh, we'll take it anyways. And that is it for this one, guys. It looks like everybody else is just kind of rocking stuff that we've seen before. Doesn't mean it's not super cool, but... That is it so what we're gonna do guys is we are gonna go outside show off that awesome armor and then we are going to maybe go and uh, throw in a compilation or a little group of clips of uh, using some of these weapons now uh, because I feel like we just didn't get to fight enough we didn't get enough action in this one um, so yeah let's go do that Okay guys, here we are outside, so let's quickly get geared up and show off those new armors. Okay, here we are guys, first off with the Shadow Mandalorian armor, based on the Darth Maul Mandalorians in the Clone Wars. This one is super freaking badass, it looks so cool. Looks great with the dark saber there, and yeah, um, uh, if you're gonna play uh, maybe a dark brotherhood character or someone evil, I think this is absolutely perfect. Um, let's take a look at the next one. Okay, now we have the Gar Saxon armor. So it looks like the actual armor piece, as well as I think maybe just. Maybe just the uh, van braces and the helmet are different. As you can see, the visor turns that yellow. I think that looks super good. Um, again, if you're thinking about playing someone evil or maybe someone loyal to the Empire in this game, uh, great armor. And uh, let's see if we got anything else real quick. Let's just go ahead and suit our guy up here for what we're going to be rocking in the uh, next future here. So let's see what's up. amazing I hope you guys saw a mule just uh, fall there from loading in <laughs> and a little delayed uh, noise there all right guys so we have finally put together a complete set of our own 
from what we have found. And what we're gonna do now is uh, put together some clips of uh, heading out into the wild, killing stuff. We're gonna deal with this over and covered problem. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna wrap it up here. Real quick guys, I just wanna say thank you to all of you who are here at the very beginning of this channel, who are watching, clicking like, and uh, leaving comments. It is so awesome to see it grow, and uh, I really appreciate all of it and uh, interacting with every one of you guys. So can't thank you enough from the bottom of my heart for that. As well, I just wanted to say real quick, if you are a Star Wars fan and you are interested in seeing some more content from me and uh, one of my best buds, Brad, head on over to our uh, other channel, For the Love of Star Wars, where we're doing weekly videos. Right now we're doing a Bad Batch review series as well as we're uh, posting some top fives, some top tens, and uh, cool things like that. So uh, I'll put the link uh, on screen or in the description. So uh, go ahead and check that out. And thank you guys so much. We'll be back in the next one. Enjoy the clips. I'm warning you! You're- 